a gray space box here. I ordered myself another wheel. I haven't even, <laughs> haven't even ridden the, the first gray space, gray space wheel that I bought. But, but I'm confident in the uh, gray space uh, for it to be okay. Gray <clears throat> space is actually owned by Fox now. Fox, uh, Fox Shocks. I remember exactly when they bought them out uh, a few years ago, I guess. Dang it. So this one is the same thing. The other race face wheel that I bought is supposed to come with uh, five extra spokes. And this one's supposed to come with five extra spokes as well because it's the same model. And again, it doesn't come with the spokes. Here's a manual. There's a little valve core remover tool. No spokes though. It's supposed to be five spokes. Now I have to get in contact with Raceface again. So I got in contact with him with my other wheel that didn't come with the spokes. <clears throat> and uh and they sent me the, the spokes, but still, you know, I still had to, a lot of back and forth for like a week. More than a week actually, back and forth to finally get my spokes the spokes in, the extra spokes. But anyways, so these are the same wheels. These are the uh, Turbine R, Turbine R, Turbine R. Uh, but this one is a, uh, let me see if it says it on here or not. No, it doesn't say it on here. This one's a 27 instead of a uh, um, 29. So I got a 27. I want to try out the 27 back wheel. I basically want to try it. You know, I want to try a mullet. See how that feels on my bike. Even though my bike wasn't intended for mullet, but I, I will make it work. Uh, so it's, a, it's, a, it's using the Volt, the Volt um, hub. So this hub has it's a very fine tooth engagement. I think it's uh, if I can remember right, it's a hundred and twenty tooth engagement. So Shimano Micro Spline. I, I like. I'm a fan of the Shimano uh, cassettes. I like the gearing. You know the, the jump between gears, especially you know on the low gears. Uh, 51 was it 51 then 45. So that that jump is only six teeth. Whereas the SRAM, you're going from 42 to 52. That's a 10 tooth jump. That's too much. Or you go from 42 to 50, which is still an eight eight tooth jump. It's still a lot. Uh, so the Shimano is only a six tooth jump, so so that feels a lot better. So anyways, again I haven't tried the uh, my, I haven't tried the twenty seven or excuse me the twenty nine wheel yet. I have it mounted on, on and everything on the bike and everything. So let me try that first before I, I put this on the bike and, and run it and see how it feels. But uh, yeah, it looks man, this wheels look small. Twenty seven looks small compared to twenty nine. That's funny. That's too funny. All right, so that's it for uh, for now. Um, let's see well, what else with this wheel. So it's a big old. Look at, look at how big this body is. This hub body. That's huge. So it's so you know you expect it to be very stiff. Straight pull. Uh, straight pull theoretically is better than the J bend because the J bend you know, the, the elbow is where the weak point is where it breaks. But uh, but if this thing was to fail, I think it would fail at the head. The head first, then the uh, then the nipple, the threads. Um, well, the thing about this wheel, you see, it's it's uh, you see from there from that angle, it's uh, asymmetrical. So I like that as well. All wheels, all wheels should be asymmetrical. It makes for a better angle for the at the uh, at the cassette. I mean, not the cassette. I mean the spokes. So you look at the spokes right there. See how the, the angle of the spoke on one side versus the angle of the spoke on the other side. It's it's more similar to each other, more the same, the same angle. Whereas if it's whereas, uh, if the rim is not asymmetrical, the spoke uh, you know one side will be more angle, and the other side will be more straight instead of angled out, and that 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 makes for a weaker wheel. So uh, asymmetrical rim makes for a stronger wheel because of the spoke angles.
Anyways, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.